unfortunately you can't just buy a piece of land and chuck a tent on top. You actually have to build a house of equal or greater value than the land you paid for. So if you paid a million dollars for your piece of land, you have to at least build a million dollar home as well, because how some of these houses can get really expensive, especially the big corner blocks, as they're usually two blocks of land. We've got one of our favourite houses just on the left. These guys do have a nice little jungle display, so you might have to find a little of the crocodile along with a few other animals. Now these houses are pretty quiet at the moment, that's because 60 to 70% of these homes are holiday houses, so for about three quarters of the year they are completely empty, but they do come alive during December and January, especially for our Christmas light competition. So in this competition, these houses will get dressed up from the top to bottom, and some really cool lights and some fun displays in the windows, and then actually have the general public come by and vote which house is their favourite, along with a judging panel, and that is the house of our dreams. This is a little bit of friendly competition between the neighbours, but it also helps raise some vital funds for charities for in Andrew. Uh, so they usually have a floating wishing well set up at the main entrance to our Starfire Canal, which is the canal on our guide, that lets where people can drop in some money as they admire the houses. Last week, Season, we raised just over $23,000 from that wishing well. In the last 12 years, we managed to raise just over $275,000. And all that money goes straight back into our community via our homeless shelter and the Well, but the owl statues have to be moved every two or four. 